And we're back after two seconds. On to the next part. I don't remember what part this is. A chest. You're seriously going mad. Going mad. What's that humming sound? Dude, what the fuck? There's lights. This guy has problems. I mean, not that I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd probably go fucking insane so much faster. What the fuck is that humming sound? There's fucking dogs or something. Another regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Hoan Weya. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. <coughs> I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the <coughs> described it in the Hordes Conclusus. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crown with the unearthly artifact. What the fuck was that? The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. <coughs> Excuse me. I was staying in a nearby village called Oddstadt, investigating one of the antique trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed wildly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings, the trees that turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed down through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. <clears throat> This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still unto this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. There's nothing else in this room. Alright. Let's keep going. <gasps> Holy shit, balls. That was really creepy. That's cool, Kevin. What the fuck is that like weird hump? <laughs> A dog's head is very dense. K9 spine. Holy shit. Let's see what you have to offer. Ooh. 
Ah, not a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Nice. Dog torture. Animal experiment. <clears throat> Canis lupus familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the ag agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis! I wonder how that smells. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments the experiments experience of Terra. What's in here? That's really fucking creepy. Although these models aren't too cool. Holy fuck! This game blows. This game can look my nuts. Anatomy Frontiers. Further disappointment. The Antiquians' lasting findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life in its relation to the power of sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will still will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interests, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. B oh shit. God, this place is really creepy. I really hate it. I'm gonna take this dog head. Be free! <laughs> FREEDOM! <laughs> Holy shit. That's not cool looking. I'm losing life. Ooh, I really do not like this place. It is really creepy. this real quick. Jesus, when will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was all who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Fuck, I do not feel safe here. This place is... <laughs> Fucking chair scared the fuck out of me. Whoa, elevator machine instructions. If you ever elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Train these steam set functions for phase out uh, amplitude. I can read complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted into the specific holes. If you know what I mean, I'm gonna take a quick break real quick. See you in the next part. Bye bye.